tree does like quite well for you. So then, and there's like tablets and stuff. So she was having medication, but then like she lost it all like when um, and got sent to concentration camps. And then like she became like really skinny. And they had to like, shave her hair off and stuff. Yeah. And like because she lost her hair, so like, um, she felt like she lost part of her face. Part of your identity. Yeah. Yeah. Because once you have those things taken away from you, it does make you feel like a different person. Yeah. <coughs> What is that uh, in kind of a light brown, um, like an upside down letter V? Yes, on the right. It's, it's meant to be here, but I couldn't draw it properly. <laughs> it's part of her hair. Yeah. It's part of her hair. Uh, like, well, you know. uh -huh. yeah, from distance, it looks like something separate, isn't it? Yeah. Nice. It's totally different, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Okay. Great. Come on. Oh, no, oh, him and a question mark in the middle because the character's like he's lost his identity as he's changing his actions and his beliefs just to fit in with what everyone else wants him to do and how he feels like he should act and the barbed wire is there because he feels trapped. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. Deep. So, Very deep. I don't know if I caught all that but so excuse, excuse me for asking a question which you might have answered in your narration. The figure uh, I'm curious about it. It's like a, um, almost like a, um, I can't remember what it's called. Like a mannequin. Mannequin, yeah. Yeah, um, I'm just not good at drawing people. <laughs> what, is that, you know, say it, what did you say? You're not good at drawing I'm not people? Good at drawing people. Oh, you draw mannequins <laughs> well, though. Yeah. Um, and tell us about the question mark and where the head is. So, yeah, he feels like, well, the character feels like he has to, he's lost his identity through people watching him all the time, has to change who he is or what he's got to do, so he doesn't really know who his original self was. Because right. right. that mannequin could add to that idea as well, isn't that, that it's faceless, that you can't connect it to a person. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So that could, that could link in nicely as well. Yeah. Okay. Do you know how much was it? Come on. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> So she thinks I it looks that. a little bit like Barack Obama. It wasn't meant to, but that wasn't intentional. That's it, really. Oh, is it really weird? Yeah. Comments? Was there a particular reason you chose the colours? Um, blue, because it's just sad. And then obviously, because grief, that's like what grief means. In it. And then, um, also, just because that's the colour of the stripes. In the boy in the striped jaws. So you wanted it all. Yeah. Because that looked really different if it was in pinks and greens and stuff, wouldn't mm -hmm. it? It wouldn't look as cohesive. And it's stormy and it looks very uh, like bland and dull. The colours are still shining through. Oh, that's a nice analogy, mm. isn't it? That's, that's a good, you could see like that there, loads of ways. shoots coming through, isn't it? You know, it's like the poppies, isn't it? Yeah. In the fields after they've been turned over and how they kept coming back. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like rebirth, regrowth. Yeah. You could feed that in. So are they actual words or just combinations of random letters or? No, it's fear and separation. It's like oh, fear and separation. Wow. Well. just repeated yeah. that word again uh -huh. and again. Uh-huh. Well. <coughs> it's quite nice to have some things hidden like that. So when you look up close, you can see the words. But from a distance, it just looks like you've got a storm. So my writing is really bad. Probably well, that could be a nice typographic too. image, though. Mm. You did all yeah. that mm. different mm. calligraphy, mm. different writing. Yeah, like the, the footprint that the, the war has left has um, sort of destroyed the land and mm -hmm. left pretty much nothing. And I just sort of drew like one flower, just sort of like that was all that was left after yeah. the war. And then well, the words I did was fear and loss. Um, and then up there I've got like like a destroyed building and just that's uh, supposed to be Hitler. And it, his face is like red to show that how some people like viewed him as like a devil sort of type creature. Mm -hmm. Um, and he's uh, in like a dist uh, dist destroyed sort of building, like, like what he's done to his own mm -hmm. country and mm -hmm. the world. And he's on, it's supposed to be like hard bodies, but I didn't read it like, well, it just looks like something. Oh, I can see it, yeah. And then um, those are like Jewish people um, being executed by, uh, by a German officer. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So who, who isolated themselves? The, 
Well, it could be like they could isolate themselves like personally, or they could. You're talking Hitler. about victims, you mean? Yeah, and then Hitler could also isolate them, making them feel too scared to go outside just in case mm -hmm. it was the time they get perhaps hmm. killed. Or... Hmm. And so tell us about the the uh, visual representation of this kind of like cute orangish kind of cube like box. Well, it's like the entrapment of the fear, so like the entrapment of the so the, fears? so the orange like box represents the fear, and then the inside of it because the two scared to like, break free. Uh huh. So for me, that brings up a historical reference of, let's say, like people who were in hiding, yeah. Jews, Romani, Sinti, Gypsy peoples, and so on, as they were being arrested all across Europe. Would that fit? Yeah. It could fit? Uh huh. Very interesting. Thank you. Any do you, do comments? You see, um, other feedback? Any correspondence between our work and your work? Because I know yours is primarily on the Holocaust, and well, ours seems to be quite modern day. Well, scenarios. I have 25 but works in my contemporary human rights art series, which covers, I only showed several, I forget how many, two or three drawings, but it covers a wide range of, of conflict and hate crime and yeah. other victims. So, um, so very relevant. Well, I, I, I like to think so, yeah. that I've yeah. brought it into the present. Yeah. Um, so uh, certainly several of the drawings go right into the present in terms of uh, incidences Have of text. Have you um, done any work on Donald Trump and yet? Or <laughs> to, or I haven't. Or? Uh, it took a few months to get over the shock. Well, actually, it's only a few months now since the inauguration, January 20th. It, the, of course, the, the election was back in November. It took a few months for many of my friends and I, most of us, who are like social justice oriented and more or less politically anywhere between moderate to progressive to get over the shock of, uh, the, of his and Vice President Pence's having been elected, yeah. even though they lost the vote by two million votes. Yeah. So um, it, was, it was like one shock after another. Yeah. So, and I don't know, it's almost <laughs> more than I can talk about. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that, yeah. so I don't know if I'm gonna. I mean, I'm sure that other artists around the United States have been doing responses, and I know yeah. editorial cartoonists and newspapers have been yeah. doing things about him for a long time. Yeah. But I don't know if I'm myself I'm going to do anything. It, more like I'll continue with my human rights series, yeah. portraying you know people have been <coughs> getting attacked under a murder six, for example, where the males with the turbans. Mm -hmm. um, have been uh, murdered ever since the 2001 attack in New York um, by the, like white racist, you know, gun. Um